Hi, I'm Sundata here at Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, Data File Structure and Algorithm Series. Now, in our lecture number 5, we're going to talk about data structures, advanced data type, and sample in program codes of these uh, advanced data types. Now, data structure is a specialized format to store and organize data in computer's memory or disk collection of variables possibly of several different data types connected in various ways why we need to learn data structure and algorithms every program learn data structure and algorithm with the help of example those who have just started learning algorithm and wondered how impactful it will be to boost their career programming skills. It is also for those who wonder why big companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon hire programmers who are exceptionally good at optimizing algorithm. There are six types of data structures, namely number one, three data structure, two, link list data structure, three heap, four stack, five queue and six circular queue. So those are considered to be the data structures and let's proceed in our second topic, advanced data type. Data abstraction and ADT or advanced data type, this is a real world example, highlights the programming concept of data abstraction, which allows a programmer to protect or hide the implementation of a process and only gives the keys to other functions or users. You will notice on the picture itself that the user has its only key, but the user doesn't know how does the car works from its starting engine, brake, so lights, how does it works. Now, it is covered by the body of the uh, car because all of the things are hidden under this car. The only thing that the user can do is to, of course, run the car. Data abstraction and ADT. Figure 12 shows a car abstract data type. So you will notice there is a what you call from user right here. It goes to engine and the body itself. Under the body, there is a mirror, there is a door, there is a weight. And under mirror, there is left and right. And it could be automatically used. And left, there is a heated and beam in terms of a mirror and right and so on. Then we have also signal, branch, and attributes. Under engine, we have RPM, revolution per minute, and the speed, okay, or speedometer. Then we have the fuel type. Now, all of the uh, user doesn't know how does the engine works. And this is considered to be hidden. That is the part of the data abstraction. So that is the part of those programmers. You're going to hide all the programs but the design itself it will display exactly on the computer screen and it is wonder for the users to use that and it could be possible that it is considered to be efficient and effective to take this a step further we can create enter data types an abstract data type or ADT is a class that has defined set of operations and value so we identified that abstract data type is hidden and protected third is it is a class protecting all of the inner code from the user and that is the ADT in programming an ADT has the following features an ADT doesn't state how the data is organized no need to say how this data is considered to be saved how do we need to recall them how do we need to modify them it doesn't state okay no need for the user to use that next is it provides only what's needed to execute its operations for example one programmer created a game the, the user doesn't know how to code on how to create a game but the function itself is a game so the user can play the game but they didn't know what is going on inside of the code. An ADT is a prime example of how you can make full use of data abstraction and data hiding. This means that an abstract data type is a hudge component of object-oriented programming methodologies. 
enforcing obstruction, allowing data hiding, protecting inf information from other parts of the program, and encapsulation, combining elements into a single unit such as a class. One of the most common ADT is the stack. Let's uh, take a look at it in action. So we have here on the third uh, topic, we have sample in program codes. So in stack, data type example, in this example, we're creating an object-oriented C++ pro program codes that creates an abstract data type in the form of stack queues list. This example also shows a little different method for declaring function from the class. So in stack program codes in C++, we use the code or syntax is full uh, function. This is used to check whether stack is full or not. Is mpry, this is used to check whether stack is empty or not. So it's better to uh, replace this with MT rather than I, it should be T. Now push uh, X function, this is used to push X into the stacks. Pop, this is used to delete one element from the top of the stack. Pick, this is used to get the topmost element of the stack. And size, this function is used to get number of elements present in the stack. In Q program codes in C++, we have the syntax is full. Is mpry, insert, delete, and size. They are also the same. So, Q data structure and stack data structure are almost the same. Now, in the list program codes in C++, so we have size, the same also, and then we have insert, remove, get i, and replace x and y function. So these are all functions, and it is a what is so-called pre-function, okay? So that we can identify and create that, insert that in the program we are creating to more effective and more functional the program can produce. Validation, we are finished with the data structure, advanced data type, sample in program codes. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number five.